Kim, Dimitri, congratulations. Off and running here at the World Cup of Darts. Tough game and hostile crowd out there for you. Yeah, not hostile. They just choose their favourite. As, as we all know in darts, that's what happens. Um, we have to deal with it. I, we knew it before the game. Asian teams are massively popular over here. We know that's going to happen with the next game as well. So we are prepared for that. They love underdogs. Yeah, it's the underdog thing. And, um, and, and, and yeah, Paul Lim, of course, he's a legend. If I would be in the crowd, I would be supporting Paul Lim as well. But um, no, we, we played professional there. Yeah. We did our job. It wasn't wow, but it was just good enough. And I think that's the main thing. We won our first game. First games are always the most difficult ones. And uh, we managed to win that against a very tough opponent, against a hostile crowd, as you say. And we've done that, so... And it ain't going to be easier. No. Coming in, Kim, obviously a tough time for you with the injury that you got at the football. We didn't know if you were going to be fit to play. What's it been like getting fit just to be here? Well, I was more annoyed by media than by my injury. Um, when I played the Pro Tour, I was already on 100%. And I played my first game, it was 100 average, the second game, and that's the thing with averages and with people just seeing the match average. Nobody watches the games. And if they watch the game, that they could see that I missed a lot of doubles there. I should have been 5-1 up instead of losing 6-0. And they all say, oh, it's uh, below 80 average. Oh, Kim is not prepared, Kim is not playing well. I played really well. Kevin Dutz came the day after and he said, I don't think I've had this very often against me. Second day, the same thing with Boris Kritschmar. I missed so many doubles, but I played really well. And that's the problem with media. They say, oh, is Kim going to make it? He's going to have to forfeit. They don't watch the games. They watch numbers. And when you watch numbers, you don't get the correct information. I'm 100% fit. I've been practicing really hard. I've been working for this, and I am here. And there's no excuse. If I play bad, I'll play bad. I'll never blame it on an injury or anything. I'm 100%. Second year in a row we come into the World Cup with question marks over Team Belgium. Can you two get on as a pair? Where are you two as, as a team right now? Very simple, we're here for Belgium. We have uh, learned a lot from last year. We haven't showed the, the best thing in the first game last year. And this year uh, we are in the position to say we've got to grow up. We've got to be adults. We've got a whole lot of pressure on ourselves. And what is that? Our national colours. And that means so much more to the both of us as a person. And in that case, it even means more to us as a country. And that's what we're doing, what we need to be doing, that's being professional. There is no question mark for us. We are here, we are at the World Cup, we're in Frankfurt. I have to play with him, he has to play with me. Whether we like it or not, there's no question mark. We are here no. to win it, we are here to go all the way. Yeah. I'm not saying we will win it or we are favourites. But we want to But go. we've got one goal and I have to do it with him and he has to do it with me. And the only question marks is from the media. Yeah. And that's it. And there's no doubt that I know that he's going to play his best. I'm going to do my best. Yeah. And we can lose when he plays bad or when I play bad. And then it's going to be all gigantic again. Mm. But now we are here for Belgium. Yeah. I want to win it. He wants to win it. We are not here for fun or we are not here to make friends with other ones. No. We are here to represent the country and we are being professional. And I hope that everybody around us is going to be professional as well predict the bubble that we're in uh, at the minute we're in a good position we've got our first win and we just want to continue from that we're on a good wave and that wave in our eyes hasn't finished yet and we want the crowd and the fans to join us on that wave it's a bit of a statement like stop like we we i read media a lot as well I, dimitri doesn't I, I read media a lot and there's a lot of thing like um, are they gonna get along are we gonna have this are we gonna have that again no just stop it we are here we are playing for Belgium, we're going to do our best, we're going to get along on stage. Nobody has business what happens behind stages or what we do there. As long as we do it on stage and we perform, that's what we do for Belgium. Thank you very much. Kim, you mentioned uh, that you've heard all the noise in the media. With that and also with your injury, how difficult has it been to sort of put that aside just to focus on this tour? No, it, uh, it, it's not been hard. Uh, um, I just do my own thing like I've done for years and I, I've played Premier League. I've played against Phil Taylor when he said he's not going to be jumping on stage when he plays me. I jumped even harder. When people say he can't play because of an injury, that makes me work harder and to prove everyone wrong. When they say Kim's not going to be in the World Cup because other players will be in it, I'm going to work harder. And 
that's just my personality. If you put me in a corner, then I'm going to work harder to prove you wrong. And that's what I'm going to do for the next 10 years to prove everyone wrong that doubts about me, that, that thinks Kim Arbrex is not a dart player anymore from years ago. At the moment, he's not, but hey, there's still some fight spirit here, so. Every year we see Belgium as a genuine threat to lift this trophy. We saw half the defending champion, Gavin Price, withdraw. Does that just give you guys a little bit more of a boost, knowing that number one, you're two quarter players, and one of the big dogs? My time? personal view, it was Wales that stopped us. <laughs> Wales at the minute is a little bit less strong than they were last year, so yeah, my this... personal thought, if the draw is going in our favor and we keep doing what we're doing just good enough to beat the ones who are in front of us, there is no way in the world that we are not, yeah, chance in, in winning it. There is, we've always been there, we've always been pushing, we've always been making it tough for our opponents and at the end of the day, we've got a dream for ourselves. We want to be Belgium to be successful. And that's what we know. It's more than just us. It's it's our country. But Wales is less strong. But we've also noticed England is a little bit stronger than last year. So Holland, Holland, oh, oh, Holland as well. Are we afraid? It's nah. not just Wales. Or it's just one country. This is a World Cup. There's so many people that have dreams that play so well together, that play so well individually on tournaments. And it's just how you perform on the day as so many tournaments we have throughout the year. That's what and we it, just saw today. Exactly. If you have the form of the day, if Sunday comes and you're still in, and you can be a, na a nation that is not with the favorites, but if both of you have the day of your life, you can win it. And Correct. that's what you're going, that's what you're aiming for. Never underestimate anybody. Look to Austria a couple of years ago. They got to the final because these are two fantastic players. So never ever underestimate it. And today, Sweden. What a start of the World Cup of Darts this was. And they are one of them that I said from the start, have an eye open for Sweden. Because Jeffrey is on a, such a great feeling, a lot of hard work, and he's got someone who is very experienced, Oskar Lukasiak. Even though he's a young guy, he's got a lot of experience. You don't have to count him out. And that's exactly what we're also saying about us. Don't ever count out Belgium, because we're always players, a team that's got a chance to win the World Cup. Why wouldn't we? Dimitri Kim, huge well done. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Dimitri Kim, uh, congratulations on the victory today. What do you expect from the Philippines? Very tough game. Uh, Christian Perez has gained, he's only on the tour for six months, but he's already done a lot of damage to a lot of players. So he gained a lot of experience in six months. He was already a dangerous player. Um, Dimitri said it in uh, interviews before, we expected players like uh, Lawrence Illigan to be his partner or... Uh, Noel Maligdem, Maligdem some Paolo players like that. Nebrida. I, to be honest, I don't know the, the, the other player that is playing with him, but he has to be really good to be above those other players that we know that are really good. So there will be no, no, um, no underestimating in that game. We have to be, I don't think 100%, but we have to be 150% in that game. Um, but, like I said as well before, this group um, is going to be tough. Philippines haven't beaten Singapore yet as well tomorrow. Nope. They're going to have to play really good against Singapore yep. to beat them. So, we will see that game tomorrow and then we know under what kind of... Pre then it could be a, a, a direct knockout uh, with Philippine. the Philippines. Yep. So, um, we will see tomorrow. First, have a good night rest, enjoy this game and, and, and be ready for tomorrow. Did you to look forward to this tournament or is it the same like you have to play together but don't want to? The honor of Belgium always going to be raising above us. Um, obviously we both know that we're in personally in a different position but what is our job? Being professional, being a professional dart player. We've got so much eyes on us, we've got so much pressure on us and we need to make sure that we give the good example. And I think today we have learned so much from last year. We showed that we can be professional. We've got to look forward. We don't have to look back. And after today, once again, we'll be looking forward. We've got a good start. We've got a W against a team that we was never underestimating. But after you saw the first five, like three legs, we were 2-1 down. Tomorrow, two players. One of them we know really well. The other one we don't. And it can be 
so difficult, but as long as we get to W, as long as we get to first of four legs, we're through. And now we've done the hard work, and now we can forget all of this, all of today, all of the questions, and we can move on. And that's our goal. That's our our thing that we're striving to. And what is more realistic in you two winning the World Cup of Dance or Belgium winning the Euros? Uh, Honest, honestly, I prefer <laughs> my personal feeling. I have all the hope for the Belgium squad at any time, at any way, because I've seen in the past they've done a really bad group stage and still got to the semi-finals of a tournament. So whatever happened now will not be saying in the future will be repeated. Whatever we've done in the past, that doesn't mean we're going to lose again in the semi-finals. We can get to the final, we can win it. So why would the Belgium football squad, who is full of talent, can all of a sudden not win it? So I do not want to compare it. What I do want from them and from us is 100%. And I think that's the best way to look at it. 100% from any player that is, yeah, playing for their country. Thank you. That's my thought. <laughs>